Hey, it's Entheogen, and welcome to the 100th episode extravaganza. That's the way you say that word, right? Um, 100 episodes, 100 videos on my uh, YouTube channel, which is way more than I ever thought I would get to. Um, to be honest, I have a, a history of not following through on these things. Um, uh, you know, I tried having blogs. And uh, I've got a Twitter now, but I had a Twitter like five years ago that I did about 50 tweets on and then never followed up on. So, you know, my track record with doing this sort of stuff, not the greatest. Um, and I'm very impressed with myself that I managed to make it to 100 videos. This is going to be the 100th video that I've ever done um, for YouTube, including the ones that I've... I've got some ones that are locked because... Uh, I did a let's play of Mar of the Elder Scrolls Three Morrowind that didn't turn out well, and it's, it's currently up on YouTube. But I've locked them in case I ever want to unlock them, rather than just taking them down. Uh, as you can see, you can see my spectacular bedroom here that I'm recording from in my apartment. Um, so I mean, not a whole big agenda for this, but for me, it's like. A chance to reach out to you so you can see my face the this this handsome fizzog as the victorians would say including the incredibly nerdy t-shirt that i'm wearing here um why do i let's play well to start off with i suppose is i have a nasty tendency to talk to myself when i'm alone uh i've always done it as far back as i can remember it's a great way for me at least to organize my thoughts uh, if you watch my videos, you notice that I tend to kind of not really stutter, but kind of trip over my own words. And I think part of that has to do with the fact that I think really quickly and I tend to think way ahead of what I'm saying. And talking to myself helps me to order my thoughts and get them more streamlined, more uh, coherent. So let's playing in that sense is a natural extension of that. And I had a lot of video games that I hadn't played in a long time that I wanted to play again. And I thought, well, why don't I make some videos about this? Because I've seen some Let's Players. I mean, I've seen Chugga Conroy, and I've seen Jesse Cox, and, you know, Wow Crendor, and Proton John, and Disease Crab, and Luka Jin, and all of these other, you know, YouTubers who are doing these Let's Plays. And I thought, well, that's brilliant because, I mean... People don't have to see my face. <laughs> I can make videos, and nobody has to see me because I'm hidden behind a much, much more beautifully rendered video game footage than the horribly rendered real life that I exist. No, I'm existent. I'm no, I'm just kidding. Um, and incidentally, I didn't realize how nasal I was until I actually started recording. My nasal, my voice was until I actually started recording these videos. Um. But yeah, so that's why I got into Let's Playing in the first place. To be honest, I don't care about views. I mean, there I on the Let's Play Reddit, and there's a lot of question of how do I boost my view count? How do I boost my subscribers? And I love my subscribers. I love that I have some subscribers, and I love that, that occasionally people are watching these videos. But it's not something I'm really concerned about. Um, I think, personally, that if you get into it for purely for fame, you're like, I want to be a YouTube star, I think you're going to be in, in for a lot of disappointment, and you're doing it for the wrong reasons, I think. Because this is a very, very hard road to hoe, and it's a hard road to hoe. Um, there are literally tens of thousands of people out here who are doing this. You know, you are putting your thoughts on a piece of paper and stuffing them into a bottle, and then you are throwing that bottle out into what is essentially a sea of bottles out there in the hopes that somebody somewhere will find it. And you can be a really aggressive self-promoter and still not achieve any success. Because, like I said, there are so many people out there who are trying to do it. And that frustration is going to bleed over into making the videos. So after a while, your videos, are, I think, are just going to be a chore. It's going to be... Why am I doing this again? It's, oh, it's so frustrating to do this. 
I think that you should do it because you enjoy making videos. And I do enjoy making videos. I like making Let's Plays. I like talking about the games that I'm playing. Even though I haven't done a lot of them, I found that I do enjoy it. Um, and that's what keeps you going, right? It'd be great if, I mean, if lots of people were watching what I'm doing. But I'm not going to to worry about it, I think is the important thing. Um, you know, and I'm not, I'm certainly not, I'm never going to play a game. I'm never going to let's play a game because it's popular. I'm never going to let's play a game um, because I think, oh, this will give me a ton of views. I'm going to do the games that I want to do um, when I want to do them. I've been trying to improve my commentary just because I want the quality of my commentary to go up. But I'm not going to adopt a persona that's not me. Right? Um, and, and, you know, and, and I would have to admit that if I was concerned about views, that strategy is not playing off. It's not paying off. Because I have, I have 13 subscribers. Love all you guys. Hey, you know, thanks for subscribing to my channel. And I usually get one or two views per video, which is not a lot. Um, but that is what it is. You know, I mean, eventually, I mean, what my idea is that I'm finding that one person who happens to like the games that I play and happens to feel the same kind of way about the the things that are, are happening to me as I play. So he so he says, oh yeah, that's exactly you know. So when I say something, he says, oh yeah, that's that's exactly how I feel about about these games. You know, um, that's that's who I'm shooting for. I don't know whether I found that person yet, um, but I'm going to continue doing the games that I'm you know doing right now. So so far, um, let's do a little bit of status update. Uh, it's the 100th video. I've done about 13 videos of Minecraft, um, which is a very fun game. Um, but I'm thinking the limits of what you can do in Minecraft in the sense of making a, uh, a an entertaining video. Um, because it's possible that, I mean, you can do a lot of stuff in Minecraft. You can build all kinds of cool stuff, and I'm, we'll probably come back to it and we'll complete our uh, basilica that we're building in Minecraft. But in terms of new things to show you, it's we're, I'm running out of stuff, you know. Um, then we're working on Age of Empires. Um, Stratagen is intended to be a sort of a, a, a label, I guess you could say like a recording label, and these are these... I like strategy games. I have a lot of them. I have a ton of strategy games. And I thought, well, what if I start, you know, let's playing those, um, and that way I'll be able to sort of create a niche for myself. Since I love strategy games, I love history, I love talking about history, um, it's a natural fit for me to do strategy games, as we've been doing, um, so I expect to see a lot more of them. Age of Empires, I th in retrospect, I think was a mistake to be the first game that I ever fully let's played. It's it's not finished. Um, I'm going to continue let's playing it uh, periodically, sporadically. Um, it's surprisingly hard. It's a lot harder than I remember when I played it, you know, almost 20 years ago. I mean, it's really brutal in terms of, especially in terms of Let's Playing, where it's a lot of trial and error, and you have to do all this stuff that's not particularly interesting to watch. Which is why I was concerned I'm getting bogged down on it. I'd spent three months on Age of Empires. My initial thought was, well, it'll be, you know, one um, episode, a scenario. Well, it turned out that I had episode you know, scenarios where I was doing four or five episodes trying to get through them. Um, I didn't want just want to do a highlights reel because I, I mean it's you you're there to watch what happens to me. I don't want to, to to cherry pick, you know, great moments to give you a false impression of what the game's like and what playing it was like for me. I mean, I like the I mean a certain amount of editing is going to be necessary, but I like the the let's plays where you're seeing you know basically real time footage. That's the kind of um. Let's play that I want to do. 
Uh, so yeah, so in that sense, it turns out that it's that that game particularly is a lot harder than I was expecting it to be. I thought, well, this would be a great game to start the the channel off with. Yeah, not so much. Uh, in retrospect, looking back, three months, you know, th- I started. I think I started back in July. Uh, I think I f- posted the first video of it in at the beginning of August. I want to say so, and it's and it's currently uh, the middle of December right now. I'm just recording this on December fifteenth, two thousand fifteen. So yeah, so three months of just banging my head against a wall of really difficult scenarios that are very luck based and very trial and error based does not particularly make for good watching in my opinion. Um, so hence we moved on to our second game which is Sid Meier- Meier's Alpha Centauri which I love. I love that game. I love that game to death. I've played it probably I mean I've, I've probably installed it on my computer ten times since I first got it uh, as opposed to Age of Empires which I haven't played since 1998 or so. Um, Sid Meier's Alpha Centauri is a lot of fun Basically, all the footage is already recorded. I've already recorded even before I started posting it, which I think is the way to go. Um, I think that's in the future is the way I'm going to do things, is get the entire series done um, and have it ready to go. And it, it, it's a lot of fun, that game, and I hope you're enjoying it, watching it. But so we've done about 35 episodes of Age of Empires. We're... Um, there are going to be 20 episodes total of uh, Smack. Um, and then I've already got about half of the next game I'm going to play uh, in the can. I'm not going to tell you what it's going to be. It's going to be a surprise. Uh, you will find out what it is when I post the first video. But I, like I said, I've already got about half the videos made. Well, at least the footage recorded and then half, and then about half of them made. And then I'm going to continue recording that. Um, and then we have Bargain Basement Games. I wanted to do a series, I was inspired to do the series by uh, Jesse Cox and his Fan Fridays series. I'm a big fan of Jesse Cox, he's a great YouTuber, got a great persona, great presence online. Um, and this idea of doing short, you know, one-off games really appealed to me. Because it's a great way to get through a lot of games really fast, develop a lot of material real fast, and also have some fun with the with the format. I mean, there's a tendency to assume that you're going to play through the whole game. So it's very daunting when you look at a game like, oh, I'm going to do The Witcher, or I'm going to do Bioshock, or I'm going to do The Elder Scrolls you know, Five Skyrim. Where it's like, this is going to be like a hundred videos. You know, just this game by itself. And it's so it's very, it's very, you know, daunting. Just to, to, it's like standing at the foot of Mount Everest and looking up and saying, I'm going to play this, I'm going to climb this whole thing. You know, and, you know, and, and so you can be, it can be kind of off putting. The nice thing about Bargain Basement games and any other short, Games. I'm going to give a shout out to um, Sky here, who's doing her, you know, one minute, one game, one minute, one minute, one dollar reviews. Uh, same kind of thing, where it's like, okay, you know, this is much shorter. I can play the game in 15 minutes, you know, and, and just get a sense of, are you, go- am I going to like it? Are you going to like it? Who's going to like this game? I wouldn't call Bargain Basement Games reviews, but they are you know, my impressions, I guess you could say. They're, they're, they're my impressions of the game. And am I enjoying it? You know, I mean, I'm not... To, to do a review, I think you'd have to play a lot more of them than I am playing. Um, and I have had a lot of fun with the series. I mean, I've seen a lot of games that I wouldn't have ordinarily seen, wouldn't have ordinarily picked up, because, you know, they're not the, in the, the genre that I identify with, you know, where it's like, okay... You know, I'm a strategy gamer, um, and occasionally I'm a first-person shooter gamer. You know, I'm not really into a lot of the sort of the arcade-type puzzles, but I picked up a lot of those because of, of Bargain Basement games, and that's been a lot of fun. Um, I'm probably going to do some some um, one-offs. I may do some one-offs here in between 
uh, Sid Meier's Alpha Centauri and the next game. I may do some one-off games that I'm just planning on playing through for a while. Um, I got a, I took advantage of the Steam Winter Sale and Steam Autumn Sale, as well as the GOG.com Winter and Autumn Sales, to buy a ton of games. I have something like 300 games now. Um, a lot of them I bought really cheap as part of bundles or whatever. So, I mean, and, and they're older games. I may play some of those. Um, you know, some of them are adventure games. You're looking at things like King's Quest, Ultima, um, what else? Like Heroes of Might and Magic. I've got a lot of, um, I've got the entire Tomb Raider series, which I may play. Um, it depends on a lot of things. Um, I'm also going to be trying in the future to be doing more streaming as soon as I can figure out how to get the stream to, to work right. I mean, I briefly streamed Rocket League, which is another game I've really been enjoying. The problem with the streaming that I had was that it's just really choppy. It's much, much choppier than the gameplay that I'm recording on my computer. Um, I think that may be simply a function of doing the streaming software plus whatever else I'm, software I'm using. Um, I'm going to see if I can fix that. You know, get a better stream going, get better um, quality video for you. If I can get st the streaming good done to where it's going really well, that may become a regular thing, is just streaming the the games that I'm playing. Um, and I'm also going to be um, trying out some more, I don't want to call them adult games, but more... Um, you know, the sort of the mature audience's games, the the games that are a little more uh, targeted towards adults. I've been doing a lot of, um, I don't want to call them kids' games, but they're for, you know, E for Everyone, is, as the uh, ESRB would put them. Um, games, in part because I know that there are a lot of younger viewers who watch these channels. I don't want to put things on there that's going to be inappropriate for them. But uh, I'm going, I may be doing some games that will be uh, targeted more towards an adult audience. Um, that will be, I think, fun. Um, just to give you a little bit of background about me, um, I live in the I live in scenic Boise, Idaho, which you can't actually see because the windows are closed, but uh, because I don't want a bunch of light shining in here behind me. But um, I live in scenic Boise, Idaho. Uh, which is a, also a major inducement to play video games because it's getting into winter. We've had a surprisingly warm winter this year, but snow is coming, folks. Snow is coming. It's, it's, it gets balls cold out there. Let me tell you that. I'm not going to lie. It is, it, is, it is damned cold in the wintertime here. Get down to, I mean, a couple weeks ago it was down to 15 degrees, which was fun. On the plus side, it meant that I never had to worry about defrosting my car because it had gotten so cold that there was no moisture in the air. Um, I'm doing all of my Let's Playing on a, well, it's a cheap you know, Chinese-made Lenovo computer that I bought three years ago for like $300 when my other computer, my good computer, simply died. Um... So I'm running about 2.9 gigahertz. I think it's a dual core, so it's not the greatest processor in the world. And I think I've got—I can't remember how much memory I've got. Um, and obviously, this is going to impact my ability to uh, record because it's going to the slow down things down. One of the things I want to do in the future is record um, console games. I have. Uh, 10 different consoles. I have uh, an NES, a N64, I have a GameCube, I have a Wii, I have a um, Sega Genesis, I have a Sega um, Dreamcast, I have a Xbox and Xbox 360, I have a PS1 and a PS3. So I've got... Am I forgetting anything? I don't think I am. Uh, so I've got a bunch of... Ga of game systems that uh, I would love to record off of 
but right now my technical specifications is not great. Um, I need a capture card and I need a much faster computer to, to capture that stuff I'm going to be using the doing the console stuff. Uh, in terms of my, my actual physical setup, I've got a uh, what's called a Samson C102, I mean so C10U microphone, which ran me about $120. It's a great deal. I love this microphone. It works really well. Um, you can see my little uh, pop filter there. The webcam that I'm using is a Logitech C920 high def camera, which I don't think I'm actually recording in high def right now. I haven't been able to figure that out, but I am recording at 600, uh, 660 uh, frames per second, so it should be pretty smooth. Um, I use Audacity for sound uh, recording. I'm recording Audacity right now. Um, the software I'm currently using right now to record this is OBS, Open Broadcaster Software, but I actually prefer Bandicam. I find Bandicam a lot easier to use um, for most of my stuff. Um, I edit together my videos in Cyberlink PowerDirector 11, which is an older version of uh, PowerDirector, but I find that it works for me. And then the um, broadcasting software I use for streaming is uh, XSplit Broadcaster. So those are the technical setups. So I've sort of given you a state of the YouTube channel, this this hundredth episode extravaganza. Um, hopefully, when I get to the two hundredth episode extravaganza, it'll be a lot more exciting. I'll have be a little more jazzy, as they put it. But I wanted to give you guys a sense of who I was and what this this channel is about, and uh, what we're going to look forward into in the future. So we're going to look forward to some more bargain basement games, more strategy games. Yeah, with luck, once I get a better setup, we'll be starting to see some console games as well as uh, some one-offs that are uh, older that I've gotten through GOG.com or Steam. So that's what we're looking forward to. Uh, I'm going to call this an episode. I will see you next time.